Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Explorer Notes for Extinction. This video we're going to cover the notes that are located here in this corner in the Desert Dome but also some of the surrounding ones uh, and we're starting here at these coordinates and for the first one it's pretty easy actually actually for the first two it's pretty easy um, so you want to just be in this rough location, uh, and if you look towards the border of the map, so east, there should be a big rock right there. If I go a little bit closer and I go a little bit for this, um, on the side of it, you'll see that it's very, like, pointy, like this pointy diagonal rock. Uh, and you can see that behind it, you have that red lamp, uh, light, little lamp. Or border post. That's basically what marks the end of the border for the map. So you have one right behind this rock, but then you also have one to the left of it, this one right here. And that's the one you actually want to pay attention to. So this one right here. Not the one right behind it, but this one on the left. If you look uh, in front of it, like down here, you'll see that there's a cliff very clearly. Well, not a quite a cliff, but like an edge, a rocky phase, right here, and on the very tip of that, here in the front, you'll find a dossier, or note. This is the corrupted dossier, right here, at 55.9 by 89.3. And then for the next note, we want to basically start in this same area. So we have our pointy rock right there, the pointy diagonal angled rock. However, this time, instead of being on the left side, which we were at earlier, you know, we were over there. This time, instead of going left, you want to actually go right of this rock. And once you go right of this rock, you'll see that there's a ramp right here and a little man-made structure. It's a terminal over there as well. However, if you look on this round little bit of this platform, you'll see that standing on the edge, we'll find the one who waits, number 22, at 61 by 89.5. Then for our next note, we want to move into the dome. So you can see that I'm now in the dome, and it looks like we are in just a scorched earth map. Uh, and if we move to these coordinates, north of the map, as you see, you'll see that there is this uh, sewage pipe or water pipe coming out of the ground right next to the border. So you can literally just follow the border of the, the dome until you find this pipe. Um, and what you want to do, it's quite simple, you just want to follow the creek, like this. And very soon to your left, you should see that there's a pretty big ribcage fossil right there. Um, obviously there are a lot of ribcages in this biome, but this one is pretty close to the creek, and it's also on the left, so it shouldn't be too difficult to see. It's also upside down, um, so when we get a little closer you can see that ribs are actually facing upwards, so it's upside down. And alongside uh, one of the bigger ribs, as you can see right here, next to one of the bigger ribs, we find Diana log number three at 66.5 by 80.2. Then for our next note, we want to move to the obelisk. Got the red obelisk above at these coordinates, and the red obelisk is situated across this, or on top of this lake, above the lake, uh, and on one side of the lake, so this is east, east of the lake, you'll see there's a waterfall uh, forming, bottom of a waterfall, uh, nothing on the back side, so it should be easy to find. What you want to do is go to the waterfall, and once you get to the middle section, you can see it goes up a little level, one level, and then it continues a little along before the second waterfall. 
Once you're above this middle section, if you look to the left next to that rock, we have a Diana log. Another one. Pretty easy. This is number two at 78.1 by 79.8. Then, for our next note, we are going to move to this location. So, here are the rough coordinates. There is this uh, big tech wall that has a cave underneath it. And we have the obelisk to our north. So, we are just south of the obelisk. However, we want to pay our attention to this building up here. Left of the cave entrance. So, you get to this building. Um, you can enter it from this side, as you can see. So, just enter it through the roof or through this entrance. Uh, enter the building, and once you land, you can see you can land in the middle. There are some metal nodes right here. And if you turn left, you can see that there are some big rocks right here. Big one, medium, and then a small one. And behind these rocks, in this little corner, we find note. This is the Velona Velonasaur dossier at 87.7 by 73.6. Then, for our next note, we will start in the same location. So, here are the coordinates. Um, we're starting next to this tech wall, and you have the cave entrance, or a cave entrance, right there. And what you want to do is that you want to line yourself up with the cave entrance and look straight south, more or less, or actually it's southwest, but you want to look towards the border, the dome border. So if you look straight above the cave, you'll see one of those kind of projectors, whatever you want to call it, like the dome things that go around the whole thing. And it's this one that's right above the cave. This one right here, there's a city terminal right next to it as well. On the left side of this one, right down here, we'll find Diana Log number one at 90.2 by 68.8. Then for the final two notes of the day, they are both located inside this cave. So... Cave is right there. Um, here are the coordinates and the map location. Obelisk is right behind us there. We're in the desert biome. And I'm just going to land on the cave entrance so that you can get the proper cave coordinates in case you are curious. Uh, it is a uh, these cords. Uh, I'm not allowed to bring a flyer in though, so I'm going to land uh, my pteranodon up here in the corner. Stay safe. And we're going to Take it on foot. So what you want to do is just run into the cave. I might do a little bit of speed up here because uh, it's going to be a lot of running. But just run through the cave like this. As you can see so far, there's only one way to go. Then, as you can see, you get to this area where you'll have this alien structure in front of you and water down here. However, you don't really need to worry too much because, as you can see, the road turns left and there's no other path you can go here. So just continue following the road. Then, after turning the corner, you'll see that you get to this area, more alien stuff, um, and there's water in front of us, but yet again, you can see there's only one path you can go here. You just want to follow the road. It's that simple. Then once we get up here, you can see there's a loot drop there, but... You can see left doesn't really bring us anywhere, 
but right is the way to go. So once you get up here, you can really only go right. That just leads to the edge, and you'll just look over where you came from. Just go right. We get into this place. Now, you walk on the edge here, you'll have quite the view. We're getting close to the first note. So you can jump down here and go straight forward. You'll see that tech floor over there. We're going to make our way there. So you can either jump down here or you can do the uh, normal thing that people would do, which is just take the road. Okay, so you just walk here. You can go right, but that just leads into a room, so you don't really want to go that way. You want to just turn left. And now you have a nice slope to walk down, so you don't need to take any fall damage. And we get down to this tech floor. And then once we reach the tech floor, like we have, um, you can see that it's pretty big. Uh, but you can also see there's a big alien tech structure to our right that's kind of glowing blue. And there's also, of these tech tiles, I'm actually going to fly just a little bit so you can see better from the air. You have tiles that are mostly complete, but then there's a little bit of tile right there next to this structure that is clipping through the ground a little bit. It's barely visible. And it's on that tile. Uh, it's on that tile, as you can see, that you find the one who waits, number 14, at 94 by 83.7. And then from here, you want to just continue down. Now, you're going to be left with a false option of going straight forward. But that doesn't actually go anywhere. It just leads to a cliff. What you want to do is want to go left. You'll have kind of this alien structure there. And then this right here. You want to go left here. And that'll soon bring to what looks like a dead end because it's water. But you want to walk just through the water. However, I'm going to have to swim. Again, I'm just going to fly across. But just walk through this water right here. Um... And you'll see that the road continues after that. So just continue down this path. Again, this is the only way you can go. So it should be pretty easy. Then you get to here. And you'll have technically two options. You can either go down this way. But that just leads to the water, so it's not really interesting. Or you can go up this way. That's where you want to go. That's basically the only choice you have throughout this entire cave. If you want to go down and take a bath, or if you want to go up here and get to the terminal. You can see the terminal ahead. You just need to run the little final bit. Uh, in fact, I think to make this a little easier, you can see the road go down here, and you'll get to the terminal. And it's when we are at the terminal, we'll find our final note. If you run towards the terminal, you'll have the left pillar, and on the right a pillar. And next to the pillar on the right, we have the one who waits number 15, final note of the day. At 97.1 by 89.9. And with that, we've covered all the notes for this episode. If you found it helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.